It's July 1st, 1940. The famed Manasseh Mauler, Jack Dempsey, former world heavyweight champion, returns to the ring after an eight-year absence and takes on Cowboy Luttrell in Atlanta, Georgia. But first, let's take a look at the young Jack Dempsey, the Dempsey everyone remembers. And now it's the day of the Dempsey-Luttrell fight in 1940, two decades later. Dempsey is signing autographs for his many fans. Their enthusiastic reaction at his return to the ring gives Jack that old fiery feeling for the sport he loves so much. At the arena, Jack tells friends how he will go about disposing of his opponent, Cowboy Luttrell. Jack says it won't go to the 10 round limit as he still has the lightning in that left hook. That night, the fighters enter the ring and await the introduction. Dempsey goes to Cowboy Luttrell's corner to shake his hand. This is a big moment for Jack. He hasn't been in there in eight years. Cowboy Luttrell is introduced to the audience and then Jack Dempsey. Jack receives a great ovation when he's introduced. Jack Dempsey, former world heavyweight champion, comes out for round one in the dark trunks with a white stripe. Cowboy Luttrell is wearing the all dark trunks. Jack goes right to work with that crisp left hook. Jack is all over Cowboy Luttrell here at the very beginning of the fight. Jack winging in those lefts. This is the Jack Dempsey that everyone remembers. The referee is the great boxing historian, Nat Fleischer. Luttrell tries to cover up. Jack loves to fight in close. That's the same dynamite left that sent Jess Willard, Purple, Brennan, and Carpentier to oblivion. Dempsey all over Cowboy Luttrell. Referee Nat Fleischer motions for the fighters to continue. A ripping uppercut by Jack Dempsey. Luttrell is fighting back, but Jack is throwing in crushing bombs. Fleischer is starting a count. And there's the bell, ending this sensational first round. Jack Dempsey moving out here in round two. And Luttrell goes right after Jack. What a turnabout this is. Fleischer motions Luttrell to step back, and Dempsey comes right back in. Ripping left hooks to the jaw by Jack Dempsey. Luttrell is motioning Jack to hit him harder. Jack is throwing bombs in there. And Luttrell goes down. Fleischer picks up the count. Cowboy Luttrell is up at the count of nine, very worried. And a jolting left to the jaw sends Luttrell to the canvas again. Luttrell is up, but Dempsey is all over it. Once again, Luttrell goes down as Nat Fleischer picks up the count. Nat screams out the numbers. A ripping left hook sends Luttrell out of the ring. Fleischer is counting. In slow motion, let's look at those knockdowns once again.
Jack sends in that right. A jolting left to the jaw. Another ripping left, and Luttrell goes down. Fleischer motions Detsy to a neutral corner. Nat is counting out the numbers. Luttrell wisely taking this count. Luttrell is up at the count of nine. Dempsey, sensing the kill, moves in. A crushing left to the jaw. Followed by another left. And Fleischer moves in there to protect Luttrell. Referee Ned Fleischer picking up the count. And Dempsey comes roaring in when Luttrell gains his feet. Bomb thrown by Jack Dempsey. And once again, Luttrell goes to the canvas. The crowd loves it. Watch this torrid left hook blast Luttrell right out of the ring. Matt Fleischer continues the count. There's no doubt Dempsey still has that dynamite punching power. It's all over. Former world heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey makes a successful return to the ring after an eight-year absence and KO's game Cowboy Luttrell. Dempsey is interviewed later. Well, thank you very much, Pat. That was a grand exhibition for you to referee. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I, I think it was a nice fight. It was a good comeback fight for me. This fellow's a tough fellow, and a game fellow, and a good fighter. Well, best of luck to you, Jack, and anything else you might try to accomplish in the future. Thank you very much, Matt. Jack Dempsey passed his prime, but still electrifying audiences who want to brag that they once saw the great Manasseh Moeller. Here's Cowboy Luttrell in his dressing room. Luttrell put up one of the most courageous showings ever seen in the ring. But he was in there with a man who many believe was the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. But the Manasseh Mauler, who will be remembered as the legendary super champion, is the Jack Dempsey who knocked out George Carpentier in 1921. The Dempsey who took a grueling 15-round decision from Tommy Gibbons in 1923. The Tiger, who came roaring back from near defeat to KO Lewis Furpo, also in 1923. The Raging Dempsey, who battled the great Gene Tunney until the final bell in 1926. The Ripping Dempsey, who KO'd Jack Sharkey in 1927. And the Dempsey who smashed Gene Tunney to the canvas also in 1927. This was the great legendary Jack Dempsey, the fabulous Manasseh Mauler, super heavyweight champion of the world. Dempsey will always be remembered as the legendary champion of champions.